It was 50 years ago this coming Sunday that the first television program was broadcast. The invention has touched the lives of generations and made the world a smaller place. It has brought us laughter and tears, too, and it's never stopped growing. Tonight, News 4's Al Roker begins a special series of reports on Half Century of Television. The National Broadcasting Company takes pleasure in presenting a special program. It plays a fairly significant part in our lives. Reality and what's on that screen have merged almost completely in our minds. It has to be exciting. Now I find television is predictable. How society has grown, I think TV has grown. On April 30th, the National Broadcasting Company will begin the first regular public television program service in the history of our country. A new art and a new industry is here. Here was April 30th, 1939. David Sarnoff dedicating the RCA Pavilion at the World's Fair in New York City. And he introduced to the world a new invention, television. NBC cameras were there to record the event and broadcast it to about 200 homes in the New York area. Television was launched on its historic course, a course that changed the shape of our world. Today, some 50 years later, there are more than 200 million TV sets in the United States. And the statistics say those sets are on for an average of seven hours a day. Since it first entered our lives, television has increasingly become the hearth in front of which we gather, the chief supplier of our information, and the common denominator for this country of diverse cultures. We're here in Studio 8H, where they're rehearsing Saturday Night Live. This was the first television studio of its kind. It's here at 30 Rockefeller Plaza, the site of the first network, NBC. The man who has captured America's heart, Milton Berle! Your hit parade. Tonight, starring Steve Allen. In the early days, the golden age as it's now called, television was live, unpredictable, exciting. We didn't know what we were doing, really. I mean, we had no uh, think that we were making history or anything like that because we were too busy. You know, we didn't do 20 shows a year or 24. We did uh, 39 shows a year, and they were an hour and a half, and they were live. If you recognize this voice, Al... Hello, Al. Remember me? I helped you in those desperate years when you needed it. Uncle Goofy! <laughs> First, we didn't have time to find out if it was a good idea and write the whole thing. We'd get an idea and see if it uh, put it up on its feet right away. The audience was different, you know, because the audience didn't, like today, they sit back and then they observe television. They, uh, they're not involved with it. Whereas, uh, when it was live, people knew that uh, anything could happen. Okay. Take it easy. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm taking it easy. All right. Okay. Oh, honey, go, 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 go. If you're old enough, Chances are, one of the days you will always remember was the day that first television set came into your house. Well, you don't know anything about this set. Well, I, I can make it just as wavy as you can. Now, Fred, you well, it was almost like a new member of the family coming in. Flipping it from one channel to the next channel. See what I can find, what I would like, watching the cartoons, you know, uh, Howdy Doody. Oh, dee doody, boys and girls. Millions of children grew up with Howdy and Buffalo Bob, the Mickey Mouse Club, and it was NBC that first brought color into your home. The world is a carousel of color. A lot of us, by definition, because you only had three places to go, we're going to have a lot of common memories because we, we're going to have bound to have watched a lot of the same shows, and therefore you can always remember similar things. Uh, I think that it tends to make us now, with all these choices, feel like we have a camaraderie because we all watched uh, Bonanza. Two New York area families, the Sanders and the Foshnans, remember gathering with their parents and welcoming these new television visitors into their homes. And of course, like all of us, they had some favorites. Donna Reed show. Jackie Gleason show. It's a clean rag. 
the old draglet uh, shows. <laughs> I'm sure you have your own classics you remember, but to this list, we'd like to add some of our own. I'm Kukla. And I really are. Drive your Chevrolet through the USA. America's the greatest land of all. I put on my suit for Dinosaur, and according to John Cameron Swayze, I'm hopscotching through my cutlet. Miss Loretta Young. We get letters, we get stacks and stacks of letters, dear Mary. Would you like to be queen for a day? Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Davy, Davy Crockett, fighting for liberty. We all have traveled a long way since the golden age of television began. But will our journey bring us back to where we came from? It may go back to life because that's the only thing that's left, I think, that they can do. I mean, they've done every kind of situation. Three girls with a boy, three boys with a girl, three girls with a rabbit, with a rabbit, with a frog, with a this, with a... <laughs> Good night, Mrs. Calabash. Wherever you are. We'd like to dedicate this look back at television to Ms. Lucille Ball, who passed away, as you know, today. It's always fun to look back, and tomorrow night we'll look at how television has changed over the years and at some of the major events of the last half century that brought the tube into our homes and into our lives. Chuck and Pat? All right, Al, There thanks. were some great old memories yeah. there, Al.